in La Quiana. Right. So, can you briefly describe what Printifex is and what your job is? Sure. Uh, we're like a big print shop meets a photo studio meets a design studio. So we're kind of um, anything and everything that you can imagine and print it on paper, we do it. Um, from a kid's invitation to a 20-foot banner going over the Beverly Center. Um, from soup to nuts, we pretty much design, print, and mail for every one of our clients. Okay. Um, how did you get your job in your position? Well, I was born into it, literally, because my dad started this business, my uncle started this business in the 70s. They had their own two print shops, and then, honest to God, we never went to a college afterwards. Right after high school, I opened up my own print shop, my brother opened up his own print shop, and this is all we know how to do. So from birth, we've been printers and marketing guys, yeah. Um, how many people do you employ? In this location, because my brother and I are in together, but in this location, I have seven employees. In my Glendale location, I have about, I would say, nine to ten employees. So a total of about 18, 19, including the family, about exactly 20 people working for the shop. So it's a good number. What are the most important characteristics you look for in potential employees? Um, that's a good question, actually, because... Um, get nowadays when you put something on the internet you get a million resumes um, usually I mean because we're in the people business so it's very important to have personality and character and help people especially where every customer is so different so no matter how much experience someone has I look for the things you can't train to be honest with you I look for the things that are um, the personality I can never make a shy person not you know I mean there's little things to that but I look for all those characteristics that you can't train because I know what I can train. So I start looking at the, the person's values that has nothing to do with my actual print shop and then take their potential and see what I can bring to the table. What are some typical problems you encounter with employees? Um, you know what, I've been very blessed with great employees, uh, thank God. But over the past years, um, you know, it's just, just like anything, time sometimes over three, four, five years, it's, it's hard to keep somebody in the same position um, if they're not, you know, that, that's been one of the challenges sometimes just in, in our business, it's not like there's a person that moves so high to the top, so sometimes keeping them happy, that's sometimes a challenge um, because we're not a big corporation, we're a mom and pop shop. Um, also, to me, it actually, it's, it's been, um, people commute these days, and I have guys that have driven from Magic Mountain Right now, that's my closest guy. He lives at Magic Mountain. They come from Lancaster. So sometimes where they drive, um, but I haven't, you know, we're very prompt in the interview process and we can weed out real good things. So, you know, normally I've been okay. It's been more towards um, just being able to have somebody that's gotten too good and we have to comp You know what I mean? Things like that, challenges in the financial, but really not too many bad things with the employees at all. So uh, nothing much on that. How did you learn to manage clients and schedule problems? You know what? Um, again, the thing that I was kind of born with, um, I love it. I'm a big multitasker. Um, weird. Kind of like to the point where I got two phones on. I'm using my foot to tell someone to take a passport photo. I just, that's always been my thing. Um, I've always, uh, it's not good because I'm not a perfectionist in anything, but I've been good at it because I can do many things without having to focus on one exact thing. So that's that's kind of been one of my, yeah. Um, what do you prefer, doing the work for yourself or delegating the tasks to other employees? See, that's my biggest, my biggest strength is my biggest weakness because I'm good at a lot of things that I, I think I'm good, you know what I mean, but I don't want to sound like that. But um, <laughs> So I don't give the opportunities, I don't delegate well at all actually, that's my biggest downfall. Um, and that's not good in a lot of ways um, because just something in me because I know when that phone call comes in, if I'm that one saying how much does a banner cost because you can't cheat 35 years of doing it no matter how good somebody is. So my problem is I always try to bite more than I do chew. So that's been one of my things in the shop. Yep. Oh, really? That was it? Oh. Well, um, 
we're one of the last people that actually still do one hour photo. All these machines are no longer environmentally friendly because there's no ink and toner. We're the last people that use chemicals, so all the photo stuff lasts 250 years. It's all printed on just real photo paper. It's the old fashioned prints in a new digital world. So people really appreciate our old one hour photo business, which we've also been doing since the 80s. This is a 32 foot machine made by Xerox that does anything you can imagine on paper. And the machine actually stops here, but because we're in a city of um, schools and churches and all these functions, we bought this separate unit that attaches and it's a booklet maker. And at the very end, you just program what size, how many pages, where do you want to cut it, how do you want to fold it. And this whole thing actually will spit out a perfect book and just pops out just like a Willy Wonka factory. Um, what makes us unique is we do all of our cutting, numbering, nothing leaves my shop. So that's what makes it fast. If someone needs 100 invitations and 100 envelopes printed, I can literally have it done in 10 minutes. Um, come on through. Because marketing has gotten so big and we people have been able to go to the internet and get so much stuff done, we're people that like to take away people's pain. I like pain, so what mm -hmm. I've gotten into now is mailing. This is my mailing room. If I've been printing all these postcards for a million people, who's doing all their mailing? Either they're doing it by hand or there's somebody's painfully doing it. So I invested in this mailing machine that we can stack up all of our customers from envelopes for their weddings to postcards for their business to you know, we just moved for a family and we could actually give us an Excel list and we actually just put all the addresses in any font on any type of material and we can take it to the post office for them. Wow. We have very particular clients that it comes down to them choosing the difference of a color where, I mean, we literally would have to print 100 different samples for them to get a signature. And we're used to that. That's what we like because we know once we give them that, that niche means they're not going anywhere else. When mm -hmm. you can take away pain, yeah. no one else will do that. Not a lot of people will do that, especially not internet companies. Watch your step right here. What makes us kind of unique compared to any other print shop is I'm also a photographer. So when you talk about marketing, I'll give you a quick example. A realtor was selling a home in Toluca Lake. He didn't have a headshot. He didn't shoot the home yet. He didn't have anything printed. In the same day, he came into my shop, I took his headshot, we drove down to Toluca Lake, took pictures of the home, I came back here at two o'clock, gave it to my designer, he designed the postcard, we emailed him by 3.30, I printed him a thousand postcards, my dad addressed it, and by six o'clock he picked it up in the same day, his headshot, the photography of the home, the design of his flyer, the address is put on his thing, and he took it and dropped it off in the post office. Now, I, it's one of my friends that I did that for, and there's not a lot of people in the world that can do that physically. Um, that's, again, another thing that makes us unique. All of my large format stuff. So this one machine prints, we have all these different rolls, so it's just like you know your oven. You're just putting a different ingredient inside of it and baking it. Glossy banner, matte banner, static clings, like little things that cling to the window. Adhesive vinyl for car wraps, matte, big gloss paper for your posters, canvas, backlit material, so menu boards for restaurants, things like that, anti-curl film, windows, magnetic, amongst tablecloth and a million other items that we can put through these machines and make for people instantaneously. If I could say one thing that's been my success, um, yes, our quality is good. Our prices are competitive, but I'm sure there's people out there that have it. Um, my speed. My speed is everything. Because this is such a to-go now world, I have been able to come through for people so fast that they can't get that anywhere else. And to be honest, that's the key to my success in my business amongst having everything in one location where it never leaves my shop.